everyone. And I'll just finish my sausage roll. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to a very, very wet Penrith. Um, the weather was lovely a little while ago. Yeah, I think we, we we knew this was coming. So it's one of those things that's, that's pushing along. And yeah. We've had to make rush decisions. and <laughs> uh, But we made it uh, Yeah. till now. We got all the filming. Oh, yeah. Mick Garvey, Air Gun World, Shooting and Country TV. Um, he's very kindly invited me down. Um, hopefully you've already seen one or, one or two of the videos. I don't know which one this is coming out. Um, but we got all the filming done because we knew the rain was coming. And so we're just going to have a little chat about uh, you know about what we're going to do today. So, FAC versus 22LR. What are we going to do, and what guns are we going to yeah. use? Uh, uh, it was the, Ma the Maverick or the Impact. It was the Impact. Uh, basically, why we use the one that's in 0.25 caliber. We, we've got we've the got Impact. we've got quite a few mm -hmm. different guns we're using today. We've got the Daystate Alpha Wolf, <laughs> which is in 0.30 caliber. We've got the Impact, which is also in 0 0.30 caliber. The Impact's 0 0.25. 0 0.25. And then we've got the Maverick, which is 0 0.30. 0 0.30, yeah. Now, as we're doing 2.2LR versus uh, uh, versus Air, we've decided to That's go right. for the 0.25, which is the... <coughs> impact. Impact. FX so, Impact. So they're both, I mean, the the slug, sorry, the, 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 the pellet, air pellets, also the air slugs, are 38 grains. 39 grains. 39 grains. And the 22LR bullets are 38. 38 grains. So we're trying to get everything as close as we can. And the, and the, we're going to be shooting HFT targets to see what will finally happen if you shoot one with a bullet gun. Down range. So it should be a really interesting day. It will be. It's going to be. It's going to be very interesting. I've been looking forward to this for, since we first discussed it. Exactly. Uh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a real good one. And you definitely right, want to. Right. Let's get on with some shooting. All right. Let's Excellent. Go. Thank you. So Mick, I suppose this is one advantage that the 22LR will have over um, an FAC Air. The, the fact that you've got to have a dirty great dive bottle to, to fill the gun up. Absolutely, yeah. It's just like a self-contained little unit. You put your bullets in, or put your ammunition in, yeah. and uh, away you go. Whereas this, it's, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big comparison, if you think about it. The price of the latest technology air rifles, either from FX, Daystate, you could probably buy three 2-2LRs for the same price as one. Top end. Yeah. You Look, can also pay the same money for a for a bulldog total alarm. <laughs> uh, but obviously that's a that's a different Yeah, they're amazing. Um obviously this one has got a buddy bottle as opposed to a, like a, a long cylinder like you'd have with a sub twelve uh foot pound. This FX, how many shots would you get per uh, per fill out of it? It's, it's just come back from a tuning and a plane open. And before it went off I was probably getting three mags, which is I think it's 16, is it? 16 shots in the mic. Uh, might be 13. Is, I mean, um, uh, I, I suppose if you're going to have one of these, having a home compressor is probably a, is, a, a really important thing. Exactly, exactly. During the, the first lockdown, uh, obviously I was, was classed as essential essential workers doing the pest control. Yeah. Uh, and I found all the shots were closed, so I, I decided to make the well, I made, made decision I was going to buy my own compressor. Yeah. Uh, Tony from Day State came up with the goods, uh, and I bought the, uh, uh, the, the the they made two versions, the petrol version and the, and the plug-in version. Okay. Uh, and I've got the electric one, which worked great. Um, now we did a shoot the other day with Premier Guns, and there were some chaps down there with a compressor. Um, Mills. Ah, oh, that's it. The e EC three hundred. That's the one. Yeah, that's and that is. If so, basically, if, if if you have one of these guns, get something like the Hills, and you can fill the gun up direct from the compressor, which you plug in at home, exactly. take it out, yep. top it up. Yep. Okay, that's good information. Right. Well, we better get this gun zeroed. Okay. And uh, and let's see how we go. Uh, what are we shooting? In pellets or slugs? Uh, we're shooting slugs at the moment. Ah, oh, is that the Wildman slugs on the these side of the gun? Wildman slugs. Yeah, yeah. These are thirty nine grain uh, flat bikes. Brilliant. It's just come back from tune, so we've got a little bit of messed about, a little bit of fine tune to a little bit of zeroing to make sure it's spot on where we're going to be. Uh, and uh, let's well, see what we can do. It wouldn't be an air gun if you didn't have to mess around with it, yeah, would absolutely. it? Absolutely. But uh, I'll say we've got a video coming very, very soon on slugs versus pellets versus bullets. So watch out for that one and let's get on with some zeroing. I'd like to point out this is my least favourite discipline of shooting. I much prefer to shoot from a hide or a stud. Hmm. Uh, not three hand this one, I have to on it. See, I've never shot anything else but prone. 
I'm just wanting to know now what shoes you can <laughs> pile out before they start bringing your shoes up. Did you make it on the target? No. No, this is this is zero in for your eyes. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. How did we do? It's still on target, I think. Mine's in the boat. Excellent. Actually, now we're going to go on the right hand side because there's a bit of foliage in the way. Okay, right hand side target. Right. So slightly high. That one didn't make it on the target. So I think they I think I'm pulling them slightly left. There's a nautical bounce of muzzle flip with this. Right in the balls off. Okay. Definitely pulling them left, and I think that's me, that's not the gun. Yeah. Okay, control the breathing. Don't suck. Can I have one more, Mick? Of course you can. Thank you very much. Well, they say the best type of shooting is when you're shooting somebody else's ammunition. And I'll tell you what, these Wildman slugs seem to be very, very good. Okay, so here we are, 2-2LR. What gun is this, Mick? This is the Rimfire Magic. Uh, it's a variant of the 10-22 Ruger. Uh, it's a Roger at Southfield Shootings, had his little magic fingers working on it. Uh, and it's a gun that they, uh, they sell a lot of. Mm. It's got the carbon Volkwarsen barrel on it. Uh, and obviously the, the Boyd's Evolution stock. Hawk scope. Oh, good man. Ten times fixed. Sidewinder. It's an old one, actually. But uh, it's an oldie, but it's a good one. And we're using Ely hollow subs ammunition. Excellent. Right, let's see where we are. Somebody been playing with the scope. Damn, he noticed. I used to shoot years ago for London Underground in the tunnels below Baker Street, and oh, we yeah. always used uh, Ely ammunition then. It was absolutely belting. Yeah, yeah. I've never had a problem with it. I mean, I used to use it before my involvement with the guys. Hmm. But what a what a setup to deal with. Con really good guys. I tell you what, the consistency I always found of the Ely to yeah. be really, really good, as opposed to the was it, uh, CCS, I think, we used CCI. as well. CCI. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I found that the consistency in the, the standard Ruger 2022 is, is renowned for not cycling subs. Right. But you don't get that problem with this at all. Okay, right, well, five shots with his own gun. Let's see how he can do. Oh, thanks for that, Gary. <laughs> Before we start, we'll put some ammunition in, shall we? <laughs> not a bad idea. Oh, 
love the smell of cordite in the morning. Do it just. There you go, that's your five. Excellent. Anyway, we have Gary C on the Ruger 22. Five shots, one hole in, obviously. Okay, so I just need to adjust because Mick is, you must be legally blind. One of us is going to be. Ah, there we go. I can actually physically see it. Now. Right, okay. So this is semi automatic. So I'm going for the right hand side shoot and see on the bottom. Bottom right hand side. You see the one on the left hand side has got a few holes in it. That I put in my pencil this beforehand. Only a few. I think I'm dropping fractionally low. Okay, I think that's it. And that's him, that, that is five. So let's have a look at mix. One, two, that's definitely two shots there. Two shots, yep. Yeah. And do you reckon that's your one there? Must be. It's got to be. Unless that could be three. I, I honestly thought that they're all in there, but having said that, from that distance, you're not going to tell. I mean, that, yeah. that could well be three. So if that's, if that's three, that's three. But it do, so, actually does look like an eight, doesn't it? So you've got two centre there, one there. Yeah. I actually think, because remember I said I thought I was going you low. You did. My that's first right. two were there. Yeah. Then I came up there, and then they were the final two. Yeah, yeah. So... Again, I think this is because I shoot prone and you don't. That's right. Yeah. And because we're, I, I genuinely believe that if we were shooting something like a 308, yep. you would have the advantage. Because this is, let's face it, it's like an air rifle for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a spring gun. Yep. I'm not surprised that I'm not finding it that difficult. No, no. They are a simple and like, lovely gun to use. Well, I'll tell you, that was absolutely, that was easy. That. Yeah. I was surprised how yeah. that just ergonomically sat in the shoulder mm -hmm. and it was just ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Sticks. 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 Do it. There you go. Let's let's go and shoot some sticks. <laughs> and then we're gonna kill an HFT target. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we have a set of shooting sticks, but they are very, very different to the ones that we use in HFT, because these, as you can see here, physically grip the rifle. With an HFT one, it would just sit in a V of the tree and that would be currently falling on the floor. So, sorry, what make of sticks are these, Mick? Uh, it's KGI, it's distributed by uh, Sightmark. Uh, also make various scopes and night vision. Now they look, uh, they're carbon? Carbon fiber, yep, it's the K800 model. It also has the, the what they call the Reaper grip. There's various different grips. What I like about this one is it's actually it's rounded, so it actually grips round the round the stock. And it will actually grip on a on a barrel on a sorry on a bottle on a FX air gun. Because it looks like a hand. It does, yeah. Yeah. And I use this gun for rabbiting. Uh, sorry, I use this type of rabbiting, and I also use it for foxing. And what I'll do if I'm carrying around, I'm, I'm that confident in that, is that. And I'll carry it round. Wow. Like that. But obviously, I've got the sling on it around my yep. shoulder in case anything was to happen if it slipped or anything. So, are these slings, uh, sorry, are these, uh, are these rated up to like 308, 243 or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I use the 243 in it all the time for the foxing. Yep. Wow. Really well, this, now, really it was very tempted for me to go round the front, but you never ever walk round the front of a. Uh, of a rifle, especially. I'll tell you what, that looks like a lovely set of. It's quite light. You could get. I mean, like I say, I've I've walked for a mile to to get on a fox with this with this tripod with the two four three on it and a the thermal scope on. Right. Well, show me how to shoot with them, and uh, and let's see how we go.
So I'm quite impressed with this hawk scope. We keep on adjusting it, but it's not affecting the zero. Mm. Right, so top right. Oh, bloody hell, it was miles away. I think I'm going low. <laughs> That's be five. Is there five more in there? Yep. Let me have another five. Because there are currently none on the shoot and see target. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go down and see how much Mick destroyed me by. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look, Mr. Garvey. I think bear in mind, when it, it's only fair to point out, is that the gun is zeroed in for 50 yards. So that'll explain Yeah. why we are low. Right, so one, two, three, four. So these were all yours here. Yep. Mine... Right, these were the ones that I was shooting badly, so I think all of mine were like down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I think that just goes to show that a set of shooting sticks, sorry, a set of shooting sticks, no matter how good they are, yeah. that is a very alien way of shooting for me. Yeah. So, a lot of work. I get used to them, to be honest. I'm, I'm disappointed with these groupings uh, for, for myself because, like, when I go out rabbiting, mm. I mean, obviously, that's a rabbit's head. Uh, 16, 18 rabbits in a night. Yeah. No problem, everyone in a headshot at this sort of distance. So, all, all I can say is that uh, I think it's having Gary stood on the shoulder watching that. <laughs> I think there might be a lot of truth in that. <laughs> so, maybe what we could try and do is. Um, what was it you were saying? Shooting off the bonnet of the truck? Shoot the bonnet of the truck, yep. Tell you what, let's do that next. We'll turn the, the card upside down and we'll put some new targets out and we'll do five each shooting off the bonnet of the truck. Good idea. Excellent. Here's your gun. Okay, so Mick has said that apparently his skill set is shooting off the bonnet of a car. Well, what I'd like to say is, is what I prefer. Let's just move in. He's a damn sexy man, I'll tell you that. So, ten, ra ten rounds, rapid fire. No. Rapid fire, rapid miss. Actually, it was three rounds, rapid fire. Colonel Lethbridge Stewart, may he rest in peace. Sorry, Brig Colonel, Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart. God, I should be ashamed. I'd hand my scarf in. Some of you will get that reference, others won't. I'm sure the majority won't. Right, are we are we live? We are live. I actually watched back the footage of shooting with the uh, with sticks, yeah. and it was shockingly bad. It was really bad. What's permission or that end? Uh, I watched it from that end, and it was like 
that much lower, that much right to left. It was. Uh, you can that. Right, eh? I'm telling the camera. Oh, right. This camera's still running. <laughs> it's still running, yeah. Oh, right. Right, cause I was about to press the record button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's me talking to the camera, Mick standing there, I'm talking to the camera, he comes walks in there, he's going, Do you want to do this again? <laughs> no, I'm leaving that in. <laughs> Blind. Somebody is. Which one did you shoot at? Uh, On left. left. Yeah. You reckon it's hitting the left? Well, yeah, I was hitting massively low for me. Yeah, before. yeah. I was giving it a half mil dot down, mm -hmm. and I think you're going to be slightly upset. Oh, of course, we'll be. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Absolutely. Right, so Mick was hitting low, but that's a nice group. Yeah. Um, I I gave it half a mil dot because Mick said that he was hitting low, so I aimed up. So I actually think that mm -hmm. they are. There's nine in there, and that's a ten. Yeah, that was my first one where I saw, yeah, I saw it hit low and then there, I yeah. aimed up. <clears throat> I think that is where I am. Yeah. There. But <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I said the sticks are really impressive, but for me, that was much more used to the type of style of shooting that I'm yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. used to shooting at. Yeah. But I think what we've got to do now is we've got to shoot that HFT target. Okay. And uh, let's see, because we shot it earlier on with the uh, with the air rifle. Let's see let's what a two two L R is going to do to it. Let's do it. Excellent. I tell you what I'm going to do. Go on. I'm going to raise here to sixty yards, and I was going to go before we go on. <laughs> damn right too. Well, Mr. Target, the question is: Did Mick shoot nine, or did he shoot ten? The question is, do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Actually, he shot 10, he's just reloading. Well, first of all, thank you very much to Mick's lovely wife, Babs, who's made us a couple of beautiful hand rolls. Pork pie. Oh, sorry. There you go. There's your one. And a whole, a yeah. whole host of <laughs> whole box. <laughs> so my diet is definitely going wrong. Right. So, FAC uh, two to LR versus slugs. Slugs. Yep. Yeah. What do you think? It's a close one in battle. It's a big, it's a big point of conversation at the moment. Hmm. Uh, you get a basic 2 2 LR, a few hundred quid. Hmm. Uh, a decent FAC air rifle, just short of two grand. You can get a, a 2 2 LR, the Voodoo we talked about earlier, uh, for big money. Hmm. But in comparison, you can probably get three, four decent 2 2 LRs for the same price as, as a decent priced uh, FAC air rifle. I mean, back in sorry, but, say, but then then again, it all starts changing. There's a the price of ammunition not that far away; they're pr mm. pretty much similar. Uh, you, with the air gun, you've got to have air, mm. and it gets more complicated. The gun's more complicated to work. 
Yeah. There's lots of workings going on in, 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 in underneath the skin of an air rifle. Uh, a two two rimfire is pretty straightforward. Uh, so it's there's pros and cons for both, and to be honest, I think it's pretty much evil. Even I don't think I would be without either mm. in my cabinet. To be honest, they both got their places. The thing that I like most about both your FX and the um, the Alpha Wolf, you can turn the power down. Mm. You obviously with two to LR. The reason that a lot of FAC, sorry, a lot of FEOs, uh, firearms officers, the police, when you apply, don't like newbies having two to LR is because of the risk of ricochet. Exactly. That's why they seem to want 17 HMR. Mm. But the issue that I've seen with 17 HMR is it's so bloody loud. It is loud. Supersonic. Oh, that's a good pork pie. Nice. <laughs> it's a very it's good pork pie. Probably one of the best ones I've ever had. Mm. Right, lovely. Mate, we need to get these people on board. Cranston's. Mm. Best pork pies ever. Sponsorship, please. How do you, how do you spell that? Cranston's? C R A N. Yeah. Trans S T O N S. Do they have a website? Oh, they will do, yeah. There you go. Cranston's for your best pork pies in Penrith. In Penrith, maybe in the coal country. Can't argue that. Braffin sausages. Cranston mm, pork pies. Cold. Sorry, yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> pork pies. <laughs> pork pies, I think. Yeah, um, it's 2 uh, 2 LR. It's. Yeah, well, the police uh, don't like people having it because it can, can ricochet. You can, but you've got that you've got that chance of ricochet, but you've got also with the, with the HMR, it travels much further. Mm. So you've got the danger of both. So you've really got to be on, on your game and knowing what you're doing, knowing your boundaries, knowing your boundaries, knowing your, your public right of way yeah. is the most important thing when you go out in the field, especially if you're shooting at night. Because that's the important thing today. I don't know this area. Mick does. So we were shooting today, and Mick's already scoped out the area because he's got an open ticket. And he goes, right, we can shoot there because if you miss, because as a newbie who's not really shot this much before, there's a chance I am going to miss. You know, I could even maybe shoot the chrono. Um, but behind, everywhere we shot, there was this huge, great big backstop. Um, so it, if one of us did screw up or we got a ricochet, yep. it's not going not to go into an old people's home. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're doing this sort of work with your practicing your zero, you've always got to check it, make sure there's, there's no chance of injury to it. Injury to, 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 to wild stock or people mm. or damage to buildings. Yeah. Uh, and that's where you've got to have insurance. And hopefully, same as any insurance, you've got to have it, but you hope you're never going to use it. Yeah. No, Def no, definitely. Well, I think, you know, 2 to LR versus, I, I couldn't really tell the difference. I think they've both got their place. I think they've both. Absolutely. Useful. Yeah. The, the, the 2 to LR still produce a lot more power down range than what the. Uh, Oh, the FAC air rifle is. Are these sausage rolls good? Yeah, they're, they're pretty good as well. I think they're from Cranston's. Cranston's well? Oh, yeah. Sausage roll? I'm still okay. eating this one. I'm considerably fatter than you, so. <laughs> Only for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> Three stone off. Right, sorry, go on, you were saying. Uh, I don't know where we are now. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll leave it there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the 2-2 the uh, FAC air rifle, Ooh, it's yeah. always going to be nice. Very good, yeah. Uh, you've done it again. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's very close run thing, to be quite honest, and I would imagine as time goes along, it will be completely even. I know there's people out there shooting 500 yards with air rifles. There's people, uh, Rick Ray out, out in the states, he's shooting playing cards 100 yards, split them in half. Uh, there's a local guy, uh, Fraser, who does a lot of shooting for for Wildman slugs. He's shooting out to 300 yards, shooting eggs at 300 yards with an FAC air rifle wow. with the slugs. Uh, so you can see where it's going, yeah. and it's, it's, it's going to get there. Like, and as things get better and better, you just look back 10, 20 years out at what air rifles were like. Look what they're like now. Yeah. You look, outwardly, they've probably not changed that much, but the ability yeah. to be able to send projectiles down range. I think also you've, you've got other things like the sticks we're using, and um, also bipods and things like that. They're getting, you know, we had two different bipods today. One, <laughs> but the other one that we were using on the Maverick. Yep. That was, a, it, it was, you could lean into it, you were just so much more stable than yeah, the, the one we were using on the Alpha Wolf. Yeah, I'll get a, a bit of a shout out. I mean, the, the one we got on the Alpha Wolf was just one I just got from, I don't know what it's come from, I can't remember the name of it. The one that's, that's on me, uh, on the FX is, is a tier one, the ATAC. Mm. Uh, I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a good, good relationship with them guys. Uh, hopefully we've got something coming up with those. But Do, do you know um, Brian Charlton? No, oh, yes. Right, I'm pretty sure Ryan Charlton. Yeah, it does. Ryan Charlton, uh, he's one of the country's top. Um, it, it's like 
What is it? It's 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 like HFT but with big guns. CRF, isn't it? Quite. Yeah, precision rifle shooting, mm. and he uses tier one stuff, he does. doesn't he? He's well, because Dan John works for Highland Outdoors. Mm. Highland Outdoors also distribute tier one products. Ah, there they you make go. some good stuff. There's, there's, there's a handful of different bipods they make. Mm. They do all the scope mounts and various other bits and pieces. And and the good thing about tier one is it's all British made. Yeah, all made in the UK, and it's yeah flies the flag. And Ryan is actually a, one of the genuinely one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. He's a nice guy. I've known Ryan for for years and years. He used, yeah. we used to run the the Rapid Seven, well, the, the Theoban Rapid Seven forums mm. years ago, and he was part of our group back then. He was HFT shooter uh, ten yeah. or fifteen like, years ago. Yeah, but yeah, you know, genuinely, you know, a lovely bloke. Nice guy. Lovely, good shooter. Yeah. Whatever he does, you know. But well, but could he shoot a Chrono? Probably better than you. <laughs> and on that, I think we'll leave it. <laughs> See you all soon. Bye. Ta-da.